over again, thought in my head about what just happened. In school, a guy called Officer Friendly teaches us about stranger danger. Never answer the door when your parents aren't home. I thought people like Brian jumped out of bushes and snatched you at night and, and attacked you. I was never warned about my own family. They don't teach you that in school. I realized looking at it, I thought, there's my answer. There's my purpose right there. We don't teach about this in school. We teach kids about all these things from, you know, stranger danger, so many important messages that we drew in the kids' heads. But we don't teach kids about sexual abuse in schools. It's this hush hush subject pushed under the rugs. As I said earlier, the one in four, one in six, 73% of children do not disclose within the first year of abuse. 45% don't tell after five years of being abused. And most of these perpetrators are somebody kids know, and it continues to happen time and time and time and again. Most don't disclose until they're adults. There's so many people that disclose in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s about what happened to them as young kids. And so if you take a bigger look at the picture, there are 42 million survivors in America alone of sexual abuse. Three million of those are children that could fill 46 football stadiums. Get that visual for a moment, 46 football stadiums filled with children that have been abused. It's a startling reality of what I said earlier. These are people that live in your community that you come across that may be a child one day that you know. 93% of children are sexually abused by somebody they love and trust. Yet we teach stranger danger in the schools. 7% of the time it's stranger danger. I was drilled every year in school about stranger danger. Don't go look for that little lost puppy. Don't take candy from a stranger. Always shown the same video of a scary man that this person was that would snatch you of this stranger danger image. But so often, these people that abuse kids are good people in society that are often maybe doctors, are often maybe police officers, youth leaders, coaches, family friends, people on the street, family members, or your best friend's uncle that lives in the home. These are people you often come across every day that you realize, oh, they would never be capable of that. I can't picture this person doing something so evil, but believe me, they're out there. They're among